Good morning. I hope you are all well. Thank you for joining us in this Facebook party. This morning I'm going to show you my morning routine and my nighttime routine with all the products that I use. And let's get started. So I've already taken a shower. I've washed my face. What I normally use to wash my face is either the charcoal facial bar or the gentle facial bar or even just the Norwex cloth. So I love a great Norwex cloth, especially at night when I'm kind of removing my makeup. And they kind of look like these. And it's just a cloth. It's so nice. So between those three things, that's what I use. And then I go ahead and I pat dry off. Don't um, pull. You want to make sure we're keeping our skin um, nice and firm and not pulling at certain areas, especially as we get older. And then I go in next with the Clary Light. And this is a wonderful essence. It's, it's not a toner, but it's an essence, which is like a, a mix of a toner and a serum. And it, it acts more like a serum. It's not super wet. It's kind of more like liquidy. You probably can't see it too well. And um, it has birch, willow, hydrolonic acid, and a great source of antioxidants. So this, when I first tried it, I was a little bit nervous it was gonna dry my face out because a lot of toners or serums sometimes do that. But this has been incredibly moisturizing and so nice and healing. It has aloe in it, so it really calms the skin down. And I just go through one little swipe and can't see too well, but even it's pulling the dirt off my face after I've already washed. So that's my first step. It's great for reducing wrinkles and inflammation. If you're breaking out, it's really soothing on the skin. It doesn't make your face tight or dry. It's actually very moisturizing. So that's been a great um, product for me. And after I do that, I usually go in with, depending on what I'm doing, so um, this is not crunchy, but this is, everyone loves a good vitamin C serum, and this is one of my favorites. It's the Mad Hippie, and it's a vitamin C serum and just helps to brighten and um, minimize dark circles and dark spots. And what I usually do is I go in with a few drops of this, and it kind of looks like this. And just to put a few drops on my fingertips, and after my um, essence dries, I go in just a light coverage over this. And you can find this probably at most natural health stores. You can find it online. And um, I just find that it's gentle enough that it doesn't irritate my skin and it just feels really nice, especially when I go to put my lotion on after. So the lotion mixes in so nicely. And if I'm just having a regular day and I'm not going out in the sun, I go right to my daylight. And this is just a beautiful everyday moisturizing lotion, which is perfect. So there's so many lotions out there. I've always had an issue with finding one that was oil-free or that wasn't gonna break me out. And this is just a really nice, hydrating, light lotion. It smells like sweet orange, and it's a very mild sweet orange. That's the only thing that Crunchy uses besides um, vanilla oil and some of the glosses and peppermint oil. That's the only thing they use to actually scent their products. So two, two things it's doing in there. It's making it smell nice, and it's, um, an antioxidant to your skin. So I just go in with just a little pump and just rub it in. It's not cakey, it's not super thick. It actually goes on really, really nice. Make sure you get down in the neck here, all those little lines that we start to get. Sometimes I go in with a little extra down for my neck. All of a sudden, we're almost 40 and you don't even know it. It happens so quick. Okay, so that's what I do for my um, moisturizer. And if I'm gonna go out in the sun, I'm gonna put a layer of the sunlight on. This is 30 SPF. This is a great facial sunscreen. It has the non-nano zinc and it's thick enough that it's gonna work. I've used some, I know that looks that looks white, but once you like really rub it in, it's gonna, um, evaporate right into the skin. You want that good barrier. So I've used some that are mineral sunscreens that don't have any white, they're just clear, and they obviously aren't gonna create as great of a barrier as this. So this is really getting um, 
really thick and full on the skin without leaving it cakey or white. So you, you initially get kind of the white, but it rubs in really nice and it's super moisturizing. I really, really like it. So that's what I would do if I was going outside. And if I'm gonna go on and do some makeup, I'm gonna next add my Smart Primer. So the primer, some people could put it in a makeup category. I like to think of it as a skincare category because it's super, super calming for the skin. So it's full of aloe and a lot of other antioxidants. And once I put it on my skin, it really kind of mellows it down if I'm inflamed in any areas. And so even just putting it on just like as a base if you're breaking out or if you're having hives or a rash or anything like that, that's really great. So I just go in with a little bit. And primers are hard to find. So to find a clean, non-sticky primer is not easy. And Crunchy, I think, nailed it. I think they got the perfect mix of ingredients. Super soft. I put just a little bit up here. Anywhere that you're gonna kinda just sort of like put your makeup on. And even if you don't wear makeup, this is just a great extra hydration to put over skin. And it really covers the fine lines, the wrinkles, especially if you're putting any kind of foundation, powders, anything over it. It's gonna create a really great barrier to just like keep it like a flat satin surface. And um, that's about all I do for my morning routine. Now, it's nighttime and um, ready to get going for bed. And um, I'll usually take the facial bar or a gentle cleansing bar, wash quick. If I don't have time, I'm gonna get my Norwex cloth wet and I'm gonna kinda gently remove all my makeup and all my skincare. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Clary Light once over on that. Depending on how my skin is going, I might go with another, you can use this twice a day, the um, vitamin C serum. And you always wanna use moisturizer over that because it is a serum and you don't want it to dry you out too much. And then I'm gonna go in with my night light, which is a wonderful, wonderful night cream. Mine's almost gone. And it smells so good. And the night light is awesome. Now it has, the first ingredient is aloe vera, so it's gonna be really soothing and calming for the skin. But what I really liked finding out about was the um, hibiscus extract in here. And hibiscus is a great little flower. I've seen it used in different things. It can be used to color um, different um, blushes and natural makeup, but it's a great um, antioxidant. And it's, I had to write it down because I didn't want to mess up the words, but it's an alpha hydroxy acid. So an AHA, AHA. And what this does is it really helps to exfoliate your skin. It's actually really great at minimizing pores and um, helping to balance oily skin. So I've struggled with you know, combo, oily skin, and a lot of night creams do not work for me. They're super heavy, they're really intense, and I end up breaking out because it's just too heavy, too oily. And um, if you're in the north or if it's winter right now, this is a really great moisturizing night cream that's not gonna break you out. And at least for my skin, I've never had an issue and I have really sensitive skin. So um, it's scented with a little bit of uh, lavender and rose petals and it's just a really beautiful calming smell for the nighttime. So this is probably one of my favorite products, the night cream. And it's pretty big, it lasts a, a long time. You only need like a little scoop and spread it all over your face, get into your neck, under your eyes, because it's great for firming and wrinkles, and it's really great for um, brightening um, any kind of dark circles or, or dark spots. And so that's what I would go and do at night, and that's it, it's pretty simple. I like that it's simple, I like that I don't need a ton of things to put on my face. And one other thing that I'm doing in my hair right now, um, I'm using the Evolve H, um, hair hydrating mask. So sometimes in the morning I do it maybe like once a month. I, I after my shower I put a, um, a big dollop of this all in my hair and while I'm getting ready, um, putting on my makeup or my skincare, I just kind of put the mask on and then when I'm done I'm gonna rinse it with warm water and it's so smooth and really wonderful. This is a great company. I love their, pro their hair products. They're super clean, no dangerous preservatives, a lot of oils that kind of help hydrate the hair and this has been one of my favorites. So just wanted to share that with you. And that's my skincare routine. So thanks for watching and tuning in. And if you have any questions, you can comment below and um, I'd be happy to help match you with anything that you would need and answer any questions you have. All right, have a wonderful day.